Okay, we've got a busy day ahead of us today. Hi everyone and welcome to part 8. You can see I've just loaded up this trailer. It's 74% full but I've emptied the store of barley. So I'm going to go and sell this at the selling point. And it's not quite full but we should still get a fair bit for it. So I'm going to jump into the tractor now, take it to the selling point, And then I'm going to take it to field 15 where I will be harvesting today. Uh, I think the one trailer should be enough. I can't see why it wouldn't be. It's not a very big field and it's only oilseed rape. So we shouldn't get too much off it. So the auto stacker is 24,000 and clearly I've got 21. So hopefully, once I've sold this, I can buy it. I might buy it straight away, but not use it yet. Um, that means that I'll have it ready. But we should get a fair bit anyway from the oilseed rape harvest because usually you get quite a bit of money per tonne or this game does it in litres doesn't it um, so I should get a fair bit from that which is good and that will be spent on something else whatever I need um, but yeah that's what I'm doing I'm going to take this to field 15 the New Holland tractor is already there um, so I'm going to come back in that and take it to the yard I'm going to pick up the combine bring that down so here we are, this is field 15, I've just put this out of the way somewhere, should be ok there, and I'm going to jump out and get the New Holland T6 and take that back to the yard. Um, I might actually put the front loader on it, I had a request and it's actually quite a good idea because if I have two front loader tractors then I can keep one at each farm and I don't have to keep going between the two because I obviously need a tractor with a front loader at Chantry Farm because that is where I move my bales and everything and do the mucking out but I also need one at the other farm because that is where I load my trailers so that's actually a really good idea so I'm going to buy the New Holland front loader for it stick that on it and then keep this one at Coldborough Farm and I'll always have a tractor with a front loader available Okay, so we're going to the store. Uh, we need front loaders. Where's that? Front loaders. The New Holland 750TL. That fits this tractor. And my tool I'll be using mainly with it is the bucket, and that's already at the right farm, so that's okay. But I will need another one because of the other farm. I'm just trying to decide what the best thing is probably actually the manure fork I think I'll buy that I also need the auto stacker like I say but I've just spent up so when I sell my next trailer load I'll buy that but for now just want to get this out of the way Okay, right, let's take this back to the yard then. So I'm going to mainly need it in here, in the courtyard area. So I think I'll just put it in here, out of the way somewhere. Should be okay, okay here for now. Um, I will have to take that off the front and put it on the other tractor because I think I'm going to use this one at the other yard. It's probably a better one for, for doing the cows and stuff with and use the bigger one here because I can then use it for pulling cultivators and stuff. Anyway, let's get the combine and we'll take it down to that field now. It's going to take a bit of time to do it. It's not exactly a small field and it's also not exactly a big combine. But I do like this combine, it's a nice one. And it's also quite easy to drive around as well. Okay, so I'm definitely going to have to buy a header trailer too. I am taking up the entire road and causing chaos. So that will be my next purchase along with the auto stacker. Two things already on my, um, on my buying list. Hopefully I can afford it, I should be able to. This field should get me a fair bit of money. 
and uh, let's get going. We don't have to worry about bailing with this one because obviously it's RCD rate. You can bail it, but I don't think you can in this game. I just want to set up my header as well actually because this reel is always low by default and it's a bit too low. That should be okay. Happy with that. Okay, let's take a headland off then. And then I might put it on a worker. Obviously, because it's Orsid Rape, it's, um, it's not going to fill up the tank too quickly. You don't get as much out of it. So I definitely won't be needing two tractors. Course play, I mean. I won't need that. I should be able to keep up with it quite easily. But yeah, it's actually a really big field. It is called Big Field, I think, so the name fits it well. But once the headland is off, I think I'll be okay to put it on a worker. I did download Auto Combine. A lot of people wanted me to do that, so I did. Um, never used it. All these different modes you can get. Right, so I think I've got the auto combine figured out. Seems to be working quite well. So I'm going to leave that to do its business until it's full. The first load I got about 20% out of it, not too much. Um, obviously, it's not a very big combine, so there's not much in each tank load, and it's not a fair. It's quite a fair size trailer as well. It's quite big. Um, so it's not a great deal for me to do if I'm going to leave it on that, but. When it is time to empty, I'm going to do stuff like buy the new equipment and obviously bring the header trailer to the field ready for when I've finished. It's almost ready to empty. Hopefully it's going to get to the end here. It might not. If it doesn't, I'll have to, well, drive in the crops I guess, but I don't want to. Hopefully it'll be able to turn around in time. Right, so what I've done is I've told it to empty this side all the time so it goes the opposite way around which is good because obviously otherwise it will always be emptying on the crop side and I'll be driving in the field which I really don't want to do um, so it should always empty this way around so it should be now just an easy case of me just following it around the field emptying it where every time it gets full so if it all works properly which I think it will, it's quite a reliable mod I think um, then it should make it fairly easy for me I think after this load here I will go and empty it because I want to go and buy the new equipment and we can sort all that out as well. It takes quite a while for it to fill up especially with Orsid Rape so I don't think there's any rush to get back to it. Okay, hopefully it gets going on its own. Good. Right, let's head over to the selling point and the store and see how much money we can spend. So I've just bought the trailer for the header and bailing technology I need the auto stacker. So there we go, there's a two new tools we can afford them both um, so I think the best option here is for me to head back to the field unload the combine leave the trailer at the field 
and then come back for the trailer, put that back in the field and then pick up the trailer again. I don't need the auto stacker today so I'll leave it there for now. Um, pick it up tomorrow morning when I need it. But I think the combine will be nearing a full tank so it's probably best if I go and empty it and uh, then we can do everything else. I do like the mirror functionality. I think it's nice that you can see trailer in the mirror. Make sure we've still got it on the back. Right, where is it? Where's it gone? Oh, it's over there. Probably almost full. I like the way that it's working around in a loop for the headlands. I don't know if it does it all the time, it probably does. But it does mean that it's not going to mess up and keep crashing into stuff, which is good. I do prefer that. Obviously, in real life, you don't normally work around in a circle. But if it finds that the best way of doing it, then I'm happy. It's not full yet, but we might as well get some out of it. Okay, it stopped. Not sure why. So, um, a thing which I have been told about withering, plant withering, uh, it's advisable for this map that you turn off withering because otherwise you can play for an hour or so and all of your crops will just wither and you've lost everything. Um, now, even if you set your growth to slow, it can still happen fairly quickly. So it is advisable that you turn off plant withering. You can do that by pressing escape and going into the settings. Uh, just here, there is a thing which says plant withering. I've turned mine off. I've also got plant growth on slow and my time scale on real time. So um, there's no way now that my plants can wither. Definitely advisable. Um, a few people have said that they prefer to start off with just a few fields and then buy the rest others have said that they prefer starting off with everything I think personally I do prefer starting off with all the fields because then you've got your farm and this farm is obviously based on a real one and the farm already owns all the fields so it makes sense to have them in the game uh, but having said that you've got something to work up to if you're buying them so I think either way it's personal preference really I think I wouldn't mind whether you had to buy them or whether you started them off with all of them. So it doesn't bother me at all, but it, I, I think a few people have got their own opinion on that. Um, anyway, let's drop this off here and I'll head over back to the store and go and get that header trailer, bring it back, by which time it's probably going to be time to empty that combine again. Okay, got the trailer on the back. Let's take it back to the field. So I think somewhere out of the way is best. Probably spin it around and put it over here on the left. About there, that should be good. It's out of the way and easy to get the header back on it. Let's put the trailer back on. Combine is... I think it's almost full. Is it got the flashing lights on? Might do. Turn mine off. I think I'm going to empty it anyway. Probably only been around once, but it's probably worth doing. Don't want it to stop. Want to keep it moving. And obviously, because it's working around in a circle, it's going to be doing less each time, and it'll eventually get to the centre. So it actually looks like it's done less than it really has. It's not doing too badly. It's got on quite 
a long way in just a few minutes. Once it spins round, I will empty it. No idea what it's on. I need to get the um, the mod which lets you know the status of your machinery, like how what progress it's doing and uh, how full it is. That's not too full. Not got much in it. Right, well, I think I'll just move out of the way and just wait for it to fill up again. Might as well have a nap. Oh. Oh. How long have I been here for? Better go and empty it. It's been around twice. Right, let's get it unloaded. I think I've gone empty the trailer again. I know it's not going to be full, but uh, there's a lot of sitting around otherwise. I could be doing the combine driving, I suppose, but personally I prefer driving the tractors over the combine. I would think I'm in the minority there, though. I would imagine most people would rather drive the combine, <laughs> but I personally drive the tractor. I much prefer it. I don't know why. I think it's probably because you can come out the field and look at other stuff. But we're only on 56%. Still, doesn't matter. Keeps me busy. See how much money we can get from this load. Oil seed rape should be more per tonne. I think it's, yeah, that should be more. That is a lot more. I'll give it a check and see what it is. Sheep productivity is 100%. Um, here we go. Canola, down because we're selling it, of course. £1,155 per tonne currently. So that's good. Could be better. We've got some in storage. I could sell that. When I've done this field and everything else. But I don't think I'm going to be desperate for money, actually, when this field's done. I'm playing on normal, and I seem to be getting a good amount. So I'm happy with that. Okay, it's full, or near enough. Get this load out of it. It's not doing too badly. It's almost done. Like I say, it is looking like it's done less than it really has. Because it's working in that circle. It's going round. It shouldn't take it too long to do that bit there. And, um, of course, measuring out this agroforestry. I keep going on about it. I will do it, I promise. Um, but I'm going to have to measure evenly between each row of trees. And I think the best way of doing that is with the header. Because obviously you want it to be just right for the combine to go between a number of times. Um, so I'll, I'll do that. It's quite a complicated thing. So it might take me a bit to do. I've never actually done it in Farming Simulator. In fact, I've never done it at all, but I know of it. That's why I'm going to give it a go. Right, let's wait for that to fill up again then. I'm expecting it to be full about here so I'll empty it when it turns around and I think where we'll, yeah, we will, we'll get the whole field into this trailer so that's good just let it spin round Just about got close enough.
Full again. I actually thought he would get all of that in there, but clearly there's more than I thought. We should still get it all in the trailer, though. Whoop. Yeah, with this auto combine, it doesn't move alongside the trailer. It just stops and waits for you. We could be moving now, but it doesn't want to. Um, but anyway, uh, we're almost done. So it'll be just a case of finishing off this, taking this to the sell point. Of course, getting some money from it. And uh, we'll call it a day. And we'll move on tomorrow. Going to use the auto stacker. Clear all those bales off that field we did a few days ago over there. And that's something that needs to be done. Some of those bales I'll keep. Not too many. I don't need that many. Uh, the rest will be just sold. All done. Brilliant. Now this field can be used in a few days' time. And uh, I don't know if it's going to. No, it's not going to put the auger out. He's already gone home. He's left the combine in the field with all the work for me to do. Right. So, that will all fit, definitely. And we can go and sell that. 76% full. 16... 1,509 litres. Let's go and get some money. So we're on 19,000. I'm going to guess with 30 something thousand. Thirty-two thousand. Brilliant, that's going to set us up for the future. Um, okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next part.